happened before that, because what happened, I don't know if people noticed it, Ryan hurt him a little bit. Ryan hit Tank with a shot, and Tank, like, felt it. It was brief. It wasn't, like, two seconds, like, boom, he'll call it a good shot. And niggas like Tank get dangerous. When they get hurt, they get dangerous. You know, like, he going to run you in the sense. So that's really what happened. Ryan hit him with a good shot and got too excited. Like, stayed here. He, I mean, he should have chilled. He hurt him and, shit and jumped on him more. Tank get hurt and get scarier. Like, that nigga different, bro. Like, I'm, I'm a big I'm a big fan, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm a big fan. I can't wait. I can't wait for Ticket to go. I know it's not going to happen anytime soon. But when that happens, bro, like, that might go down as the biggest fight in boxing history, in my opinion. They shouldn't they shouldn't do that in the US. They should do that in Africa. Like you know, like it feel like a, it feel like a thrilling vanilla kind of vibe, bro. Like for real. Like that's some that would be something epic. So I mean, you you seen how round two came, he scored the knockdown off of a counter punch. Um, is that when he got that excitement? Nah, to me, what happened was so round two Happened kind of just like I told you happened. Ryan came out super aggressive, very aggressive, throwing punches, he's back at Tank up, had Tank moving, whatever. But Tank, Tank isn't, uh, uh, he don't fight he's scared, bro. Like, he, he stayed calm. So while he's moving, he's seeing him. So I mean, Ryan caught him. Ryan should have took a step back, in my opinion. Should have took a step back and, and, and take his time. But he caught him, sort of he caught him, he jumped on him more. When he jumped on him, he became vulnerable. Tank seeing everything, slipped, boom, caught him. I mean, like, after that, Ryan Tank could see that Ryan was different. You feel me? So like you, he got confident. He got more confident. The fight was over. What did you think about that body? Amazing. Shot? And I saw if you watched the fight. The reason I called it, because people were saying oh, it was obvious. Uh, maybe it was, but let me see why I was why I called it. Like around round round four, I kept noticing Tank is keeping the angle on the outside, but he's not slipping. The jab to the outside. Every time, every time he slips, he slips inside, and the body shot is right there. I start seeing it. Going like he kept slipping here, here. Let me hold on, put the phone down for a second. Here, like Ryan, Ryan threw the jab, and he'll slip this way. And he throw the hook, or he throw, he throw the something off this side. He wasn't slip that way. So and Tank and Ryan had elbows like this. So when he kept slipping, I'm like, oh, that body shot is right there. I'm looking from the outside, so it's easier for me to see it. But Tank a genius. You remember, like, so if I was like Tank, Shakur, Boots, they see it. So, like, if, if I can see this in round six, Tank going to see it in a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he slipped, oh, the shot there. So, oh, the left hand to the body is going to be it. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I told you. You can see it. Like, when he moving. When he gets hit with the shot, um, did you think, you know, Ryan was going to stand I up? I think he was going to get back up. I think he was going to take the knee and then take the eight count and get back up. And then, like people were saying, it probably would have been stupid. He probably would have gotten knocked out bad if he got up because he was still been hurt. But that's going on in your shield. That's something you got to wear. Like, if you if you saying you about that life for real, and this button is box life real, like, I'm going out on my shield. So if I'm going to get up and get knocked out, you're going to knock me out real because I'm not going to stay down. I'm not going to I'm not gonna be on my knees looking up at me. And then get up like after the fight's over. That's corny to me. That's just my humble opinion. For you to be talking the way you was talking, like if this is a regular fight, whatever, like, but for you to call somebody out for over a year, then finally get the fight, and then talk great, talk great, talk great, talk great, talk great, then get hit with a shot. We, I get it. It hurt really bad. Suck it up, bro, and get knocked out. Like, like, remember, like the way you talking, go out on your shit. So everybody, like, on my comment, not everybody, but a lot of people in my comments. Upset at me for saying that he quit. Why are you saying he quit? Say liver shot. You can't get up from the shot. You can get up from the shot. One hundred percent. Any any good boxer that's been ring with good opponents has that one point in their life been hit with a hard ass liver shot. I've been hit with a couple of them. Canelo had one when I was following with him and can't. And I saw him up there in the corner. I was like, Ma, oh my God, I'm about to get up this joint. She was like, Boy, you better stop. You feel like you feel like I promise you, Canelo hit with that ass with a smile. I asked him, Well, how did you land that? Like, how did you sit there? Like, he, he showed me the shot. Canelo hit me with one. Shane Mosley senior hit me with one. Um, it's been a couple of times I've been able to little shots. Been like, um, nobody ever put me down with one, but and there's only been a sparring. But I'm saying like people have been hit with liver shots. That's not like a new phenomenon. Everybody that hasn't boxed before act like that's some new. Oh, you can't get up from liver shot. You can, you can. You just it's hard. When Oscar got hit with Bernard Oscar, Oscar got hit with a hard one too, and he didn't get up. He chose not to get up. Oscar quit. That's all I'm saying. You feel like I'm not knocking Ryan for quitting. You, it's a hard shot, you could, but you quit. 
All that took you quick. That's it. You know what I mean? You mentioned a perfect fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya. They went down. Oscar De La Hoya went down on the same body shot, went down on his shield, like you said. You think, like, the the Mexicans have the right to say what they're saying right now yeah, as far yeah, as bro, what they bro, feel about Mexicans Ryan. are known for their tenacity, known for their their heart. Like they go, that's that's their thing. Going out on their shit, like a Mexican, you you get the the energy that a Mexican will, a fighter will die in the ring because they that that's how prideful of a fighter they are. I respect that one hundred percent. That's why I call my I don't know if you know, but I call myself the black Mexican. I'm like mama's boy, the black Mexican, because I I die in here. You feel know, like? That's real talk, bro. Like that's the kind of energy you gotta have as a as a warrior. If you, I, I can't. I, I personally can't look up at a fighter. But no more. I already been knocked out, bro. Like that's just me, bro. Like you know, like not saying I want to be knocked out. I don't ever want to be knocked out. But I just can't quit. You know what I mean? Like so, that's all I was looking at. And if you want to take that negatively, take that negatively. But I'm just saying for you to talk the way to to, to talk you talk to get that fight. Cause Tank ain't look for you, bro. Like Tank wasn't. Tank has never. After a fight, called out Ryan. Ryan was all at his fights. I'm gonna, knock you out. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna be too easy. I'm not gonna be easy. That was all him. You look up the leader for the fight. Tank didn't even start talking until like the, the week of the fight. Those press conferences where he was like, "Don't bring your daughter." Like, Tank didn't do that for the whole camp. He was laughing, chilling. Ryan was talking spicy. You feel me? So how are you gonna be the one that talks spicy and then you don't get up? And how are we gonna let? And my my thing with the audience is, as fans. Y'all should hold yourselves at a higher level. Y'all should, y'all should want more. Y'all shouldn't be accepting anything because the reason, the reason these boxers talk so crazy is because they know they don't have to back it up. You could say whatever, like these boxers say whatever they want to say, and then when the fight happens, they hug and all that, and then it's over. Where's that energy? Where's that energy you have? You know, oh, he was just trying to sell a fight. 